Ralph was driving his Model 3 on the Long Island Expressway in New York City when a tire flew off a school bus on the opposite side of the road. The tire bounced over the median and over Ralph's Tesla before smashing into the Honda behind him. In slow motion, we can see how the bus jumped a little when the tire popped off. The tire rolled toward the median, got some hang time, and bounced on top of the median before crashing down behind Ralph. Ralph stopped and rushed over to the driver of the Honda to make sure everyone was okay, and luckily, nobody was hurt. He exchanged phone numbers with the driver of the Honda so he could send them a copy of his Tesla Camp footage for their insurance claim. Anthony was driving on Route 8 in Sheldon, Connecticut when another driver who'd passed him rear-ended the car in front of him. Debris flew all over the road and it looked like they were going to drive off, but in the end, both cars stopped and Anthony checked on everyone. The driver that rear-ended the other car tried to blame it on the other driver. Anthony says he was clearly drunk and he told Anthony he thought he'd hit a semi-truck based on the damage to his vehicle. He was also driving an unregistered car without a license. Anthony waited for the cops to arrive and the responding officer watched the Tesla cam footage from the Tesla's passenger seat. He was amazed at how easy it was to watch the video, but he added that he wouldn't need it to prove that the man was very drunk. Please don't drink and drive. Andy was driving his Model Y in St. Paul, Minnesota. As he approached an intersection, a semi-truck was coming up on his left. The semi-truck didn't see that the lanes shifted and came very close to hitting Andy's Tesla. Luckily, no accident occurred, but Andy honestly doesn't know if he or Autopilot hit the brakes first. Steven was driving his Model X in downtown San Francisco when a man was pushing a bicycle against a red light. Steven slowed down to let him cross, but then he hit the Tesla with a rock he had in his other hand. Fortunately, the windshield didn't crack and the rock only left a small pit. I guess it's true what they say, no good deed goes unpunished. Tristan's girlfriend was driving his Model 3 in Alpharetta, Georgia. It had been raining earlier, so the roads were wet, and let's just say that his girlfriend enjoys driving his Tesla. When she hit the highway on-ramp, she punched the juice pedal to the floor, but she punched it a little too hard, losing control and spinning out into the dirt. Tristan, who was sitting in the passenger seat, says it was quite a fun ride once he realized the curbs were short and the accident wouldn't be too serious. The car was covered in mud, but there was no permanent damage. The rearview camera angle is actually pretty cool once the dirt gets kicked up. Yeehaw! It almost looks like they're leaving the road and heading out into nature. We actually got the perfect tip how you can feel the spirit of wild nature without even leaving your car. With our sponsor Hunting Clash, a free-to-play game available on iOS and Android. It's the perfect way for you to kill some time at your next supercharger stop. Test yourself in one of the most ancient traditions of humanity. And I don't mean driving an ice car. I'm talking about hunting. Here's how it works. Travel across the world exploring different locations with the most realistic graphics you've ever seen on mobile. Start in Montana, then explore the desert, the jungle, and even the northern lights of Lapland. You get to decide what you hunt, and there are dozens of animals to choose from. I think we've seen just about all of these animals in our Tesla Cam stories. As you progress, upgrade your weapon, train your hunting dog, and take part in weekly competitions and events to develop your shooting skills. The competitors among you will be thrilled since you can compete in duels with other players online. When going head-to-head -head against others, it's always good to have someone watching your back, just like Sentry Mode. And now, Hunting Clash has a gift just for Wham Bam viewers. Redeem the code Wham Bam Tesla Cam for free bonuses worth 15 US dollars, 100 gold coins, 70 skill tokens, and two mythical lure cards. I sincerely hope you download Hunting Clash for free on iOS and Android. Use our links in the description below, and thanks to Hunting Clash for sponsoring this video. Chris was driving his Model 3 in Toronto, Ontario. When he started to turn left, two individuals were taking their time crossing the road. When the light turned red, Chris inched closer to them, still fully aware of their presence. Apparently, the pedestrians didn't like the fact that Chris had drawn closer, so the male pedestrian kicked the car while Chris completed the turn. Chris immediately pulled over. Interestingly, the guy came back and apologized. There was no damage, so they each went their separate ways. Chris contacted a friend who's a police officer and they offered to take a report, but since there was no damage, Chris decided to let it go. 
Nick was driving his Model Y in Charlotte, North Carolina. There was heavy rain and everyone was driving cautiously. Well, maybe not everyone. The RAV4 driver in front of him decided not to take the exit. Nick had to chuckle because of the casual way they merged back onto the freeway from an exit ramp. Then moments and a few construction drums later, the RAV4 decided to take the exit after all. Due to the angle of the ramp and the bad weather, Nick couldn't see their turn signal. If it hadn't been for his wife yelling, watch out, they would have been hit pretty badly. The RAV4 driver was kind enough to put her window down and ask if they were okay at the next traffic light. Other than accelerated heart rates, everyone was fine. Joseph is a delivery driver for Domino's Pizza. He knows it might be weird for a pizza delivery driver to drive a Tesla, but he works extra hours so he can afford it. On his way to make a delivery, he used his turn signal to merge into the left lane. That's when the driver of a Honda started trying to block him. At the next red light, the guy yelled that Joseph was speeding and proceeded to tell Joseph he had daddy's money because he drives a Tesla while working for Domino's. Joseph thinks someone is salty because they don't drive an EV. Tim was driving one morning when traffic on the freeway came to a standstill. Tim stopped with traffic, but the driver of the Nissan behind him wasn't paying attention and ran right into the back of his Model 3. They both pulled over and exchanged information. The young man who'd hit him was very nervous and didn't know what to do. Tim let him know that he was an off-duty cop and that he knew exactly how to proceed. At first, that comment didn't make the other guy feel any better, but by the time they were done exchanging information, Tim had been able to put him at ease. Tim just started an Instagram page by mashing together the words Tesla and Hilarious. Go follow him at Teslarious. Frederick was driving his Model 3 in Stockholm, Sweden when he noticed a car swerving around the road. When he drove up beside it, he saw a very old man behind the wheel that was probably not fit to drive. Frederick called the police to report the situation and they asked him to stay behind the car and told him that a police cruiser would be waiting up ahead. At the traffic light, the police were waiting. Right in front of the cops, the old man sped through the red light. That was all the evidence they needed. Frederick followed up with the driver to make sure he was okay. Later, he learned that the driver, who'd been born in 1933, actually passed away four months after this incident. David was driving his five-day-old Model Y in St. Mary's, Georgia when debris from a semi-truck tire was run over by a car in front of him before hitting David's Tesla. David filed an insurance claim and he was able to attach his test cam footage as evidence, but he hasn't received a repair quote yet. Tom was driving his Model 3 on the A303 in Wiltshire, England. Just as he was about to pass a semi-truck, a deer jumped out from the median. The truck driver on his left slammed on the brakes and swerved, and Tom went from 70 miles per hour to completely stopped to avoid hitting the deer. I've gotta say, it looks like the deer had some great traction control. Luckily, the deer missed both the semi-truck and Tom's Tesla, and Tom saw it run safely into the woods. Chris had parked his Model 3 outside of a supermarket in New York City when he got a push notification that the alarm in his Tesla had been triggered. When he got back to his car, he found fresh damage and this Sentry Mode event capturing a hit and run accident. Chris filed an insurance claim and his insurance company was able to track down the driver responsible since their license plate was clearly visible in the footage. The initial insurance estimate was 700 US dollars, but that was just for repainting. The Tesla service center told him the car actually needs a new bumper cover, so the final repair cost will end up being even higher. Jubert was driving his Model 3 in Homestead, Florida when the driver of a Camaro in front of him, just kidding everyone, I know, it's a Dodge Charger. Gotcha again! The driver of a Dodge Challenger in front of him stopped even though they had a green light. At first, Jubert didn't understand what was going on. Then a lady who was driving in the opposite direction stopped, got out, and picked up a turtle that had been crawling in front of the Challenger. She rescued the turtle by gently releasing it back into the wild. Now, I'm no turtle rescue expert, but it looks like the turtle got a little extra hang time when she threw it. Luckily, it has a hard shell. We've noticed a change in trends lately. We usually get most of our submissions from California, but not anymore. These days, we get most of our submissions from Texas, then from Florida, and California has dropped to third place. I don't think the drivers in Texas are any friendlier though, as this video from Jack proves. 
Jack was heading to Home Depot when another driver cut him off. Soon they both ended up turning into the Home Depot parking lot. Just watch what happened next. When Jack walked inside the store, the other driver walked around his Model Y before deciding to sit on it. Let me rephrase that, she hopped up onto it. It seems like she tried using her full weight to damage the frunk of the car. Thankfully, the frunk is pretty dent resistant since it isn't hollow on the Model Y. When Jack came back to his car, the woman pulled up in her own car, but Jack couldn't understand what she said. He later reported the incident to Home Depot's security. Richard was driving his Honda Clarity. Whoa, 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 what is this? Is he about to bump into someone? Oh, I see. Someone else bumped into the Tesla in front of him. This wasn't a Honda bump POV after all. Both drivers pulled over on a side street to exchange information. Richard didn't stop since there were no injuries and he figures the Tesla driver already has their own footage of the accident. If the Tesla owner didn't have his Tesla cam set up, hopefully he'll find Richard's footage here on our channel. Again, a big thank you to Hunting Clash for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out at the link in the description.